I've been flying with the Get Hammer Butt Kicker Gamer Plus for a week now, and I have a confession. I can't fly without it anymore. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice. I wanted to do a video, kind of an interim video between the unboxing video that I did last week. So actually a week ago today, the day that I got the Butt Kicker Gamer Plus by Ginammer. And the first thing I did was load the Haptic Connect software, and I built a jet program for DCS. That's what I wanted to do first, was to basically dial in my jets, like the F-15E Strike Eagle and the F-A-18 Hornet. Since the Hornet is further along in development, I went ahead and loaded it up with bombs, with chaff, with flares, with missiles, with a fuel tank, and I went out and tested all the parameters that are covered in the HaptiConnect software. Then I jumped in the P-51D Mustang, and I built a profile within the HaptiConnect program to basically dial in all of the control inputs or the feedback inputs that you can get from the software. It's probably important to note now that this software, the Haptic Connect plugin for DCS, was only released in April of 2023, so it's still kind of in development itself. I'd also like to remind you that this is a review of the Haptic Connect software as it works with the Butt Kicker Gamer Plus, and it's not a debate about any other third party software that you can download and use with this, although that is a discussion for a later video. After that, I jumped into the Apache and I went ahead and dialed in some of the stuff that you can get feedback on. But as you can see here, the program is not optimized for helicopters yet. As I put the Hornet through the paces, it was really satisfying to feel the clunk when you released the munition, to have the aircraft shake or my seat shake when I was firing the gun. And I'd have to say, I could not get the wing fold feedback to work, nor the chaff, although the flare worked perfectly. And so there might be a little bit of research that needs to be done on that part by Haptic Connect software developers and also DCS World. When I reached out to Gitammer to request a review model for the channel, I sent them my review video on the Next Level Racing Boeing military flight sim rig that I have. And based off of their estimate on the weight of that rig and their history of selling you know, products to people with that rig, they recommended the Gamer Plus but there's three different options. You can get the Mini or you can get the Gamer Pro, and we'll talk about that in a second. You can see in this stock image from Gitammer that there's lots of different ways to mount the Gamer Plus, and you can also see in this video that I mounted mine on the seat post that comes with the Boeing flight seat, right it's about three inches from my butt. Since my first video came out a week ago, I've had two different people comment that one person said he bought the Mini and it wasn't really what he was expecting. And the other person said they bought the Pro and it was a little overkill and they had to turn the settings way down. Once I landed the Hornet at Nellis Air Force Base, I tested the refueling probe, the canopy, all of the data points that you can program in for feedback were tested and almost everything worked as advertised with variable settings. My sim rig is on the second floor of our house. I'm on padded carpet that's directly above the kitchen and when I had the settings turned up really high my wife and daughter were in the kitchen. They said they could feel it or hear the vibration just a little bit. They said it wasn't annoying but it was definitely noticeable. Now before you guys ask, I am going to do a video on what settings work for me in various aircraft but I have to say it depends on what type of chair or seat or setup you have as to what your settings are going to be as well as what unit you should buy. Also, I need to clarify that if you buy your butt kicker from the company directly or from a third party retailer, you can still go and register that product online and get a free download of either the track pack or the flight pack for free. That's a $30 value that you get just by registering your butt kicker. 
Now, guys, don't tell my wife, but I have spent thousands and thousands of dollars for my military flight sim commitment with DCS software and all the hardware that's included. And I would have to say, with my budget, this is a perfect device for me. Now, I didn't have to pay for this because I requested it for a review, but I still think it's worth the value if you can afford it. So my flight testing is far from over, but one of the things I can already see is we need to add a crash landing damage model so that when the aircraft skids across the runway with the gear up, you get some vibration. As a matter of fact, it should be pretty violent. Uh, the other things that you guys have recommended are things like the afterburner, and I even talked to our F-16 pilot. He said that you can not only feel the afterburner kick in in the airframe, but you can also feel when you reach different phases or stages of the afterburner. I should probably also remind everybody that this is not a paid endorsement for Githammer or any other products, and I am not a advertising type guy, so I don't get paid for AdSense. So if you guys could, please subscribe and like the video if you think it'll help other people, but we want to get this information out there, uh, and it's hard to compete against the YouTube algorithm when you're not making money for YouTube, so we really appreciate you guys' support. Let us know what you think in the comments and what type of content on Butt Kicker and all of the devices you'd like to see in the future. Appreciate you guys watching and everybody take care. Stay safe out there.
altitude. 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 